hello everybody. Uh, scientific method this week. So here is a little information on how to go through Nearpod. So I'm going to try to take us through this and allow you to progress on your own when you have time today. So first we're going to start off with the title, of course. Then on this blue button on preview, you're going to move to the next thing. The lesson objectives. Okay, so being able to learn about the scientific method, hopefully it's just a review for you as an eighth grader, but let's make sure that we get all the steps correct. Then phenomena, okay, so understanding like the Aurora Borealis. So I've been to Alaska and been able to see this myself and some of you may have as well, um, but why do these things happen? And then the transluminescent, uh, what you see basically on some of the shores or in the water where it lights up at night. So why does that happen? Some of you may know, and we may find out a little bit later. So this is just, we really got to think about how things happen out there. And we're loading up. So here is a video. So you're going to watch the video. Okay. And I'm not going to play it for you right now, but you're going to watch the video uh, through until the end. Get a little bit more information on the scientific method okay and then when you're done with the video there's going to be a question and the question is on the very top uh, what were the six steps listed in the video to the scientific method so please push and answer your questions in here okay you can go back to the video if you need to uh, but make sure that we work on that the next thing is really when you see a general slide, look down below and what you're going to see is a button on the lower left that has a play button. And instead of you having to listen to me like this all the time in a lecture, I am going to present the information from the slide and what I want you to know about it. So in this uh, audio file. So make sure that you are pressing the button and it's about minute, two minutes long, right around there. So please listen to that little description. As we move on, you are going to have an interactive video. So what you're gonna do with this video is you're learning a little bit more information on theory, law, hypothesis, as well as a scientific method. And what you're gonna do as on the lower left, once you push play, you are gonna come upon questions wherever the blue dots are, okay? So like on the first one, as we push play, it is going to start to up. Something straight. Evolution by natural selection. Now it's gonna ask you a question. What do you already know about the terms hypothesis, theory, and law? I just want you to be able to state whatever you know. When you're done with the question, then don't move on to the next slide. You have, so all these blue dots down here below are questions, okay, within the video. So paying attention to the video, and then you're just pushing play again, and it will move you on for a little bit more information to the next, okay? Hopefully we can kind of understand that and you can understand how we're going to watch videos instead of watching it all the way through. And it's about a six minute video, uh, a little bit longer. So uh, getting some good information, but at the same time answering some questions. So a little bit of way of taking notes and getting your, giving me your feedback. Okay. Then we have another problem solving map. So another slide, uh, understanding the process and what you're going to do again is push play. Listen to me describe through the process and let's just get into a good habit of playing through it again minute minute half I'm trying to stay under two minutes on any of these things that are slides and We'll progress forward with that. So um, Problem solving map what you do every day you problem solve like this, but sometimes understanding what we need to do for science The next slide so here you're being asked a question. So I wanna kind of start that thinking of making a hypothesis. So why do some trees lose their leaves and fall? Okay, so I don't need pages, paragraph, things like that. I need a general, what you put on a post-it, okay? And that's what that's gonna be on this board is a bunch of post-its. 
So you're gonna post your hypothesis here. So down below, you are actually going to type in your response and then you can post that and it will be put up here. So we can all share. It's kind of a, what we call a community board. Um, similar to Padlet, if you've had Padlet, okay? Uh, and then I will need to approve it as it comes on and then it will show up with everybody else's. You wanna list one major factor you believe causes this phenomenon. So what's one major thing? So that's what you wanna list on there. Um, why do some trees lose their leaves and fall? So I wanna get your feedback on that, but it's just kind of practicing making that investigative question. Okay, so being able to do an observation and think about it. Okay, so here is a match it. So we're working on vocabulary right now. So what you're trying to do is we have match the scientific method vocabulary with the definition. So that's on the very upper left hand. The vocabulary is all stated in capitals. So capital letters on all the vocabulary that's there. Their definitions, okay, are trying to be able to figure them out, all right? So when we click on one, we're trying to match it with the correct, okay? So one of the things right here um, for the cause, so if I were to think the cause variable you controlled uh, would be the independent. Now they're gonna match and then they're gonna be marked off the board and then you're trying to find some of the others, okay? Um, so try to work through that. It's gonna see how many times it takes you to try to get through it. So it's just practicing with the vocabulary that we've had and hopefully what you know. So work through that. And then the next one is actually a memory test. So it has, pairs in here and you got to try to find them. So we're trying to work a little bit on our memory, but also working on our terms. So we have conclusion, okay? So we want to find conclusion. So it's going to match, it's going to take that off. Then we want analysis and we got to try to think of where is analysis at? There we go. And then we have hypothesis, okay? And where was hypothesis? Okay, and experiment. And I think it was somewhere over here. And then we have question. Oh, look at that. And then we have observation. And it told me I got it done in nine moves. Okay, so that's what you're gonna try to do is try to work with them and try to match them and a little bit of brain thinking. Okay, so hopefully it's a little bit of fun as well. Then I want you to take a poll. So at the end here, do you feel confident you understand the scientific method steps? Okay. Yes, no, and if it's somewhere in between, um, I left a sort of, okay. Hopefully we're all a lot of yeses. And, and, and this last part here, oh, look at that picture. So this last part here is me just wrapping things up and you have a question at the very end of my video uh, to be able to answer. And then that is Nearpod and you will just, that will be turned in and I will be able to correct the answers from the site called Nearpod. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. So hopefully this video helps you out a little bit on what you're supposed to do within uh, Nearpod for this lesson and we'll move forward. I'll introduce you a little bit more during our um, Zoom time. So hopefully this video helps.